Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been just a little bit since I posted a video, but I am home now um, in Illinois and I wanted to do kind of a little review, first impressions of um, the Coca-Cola and Morphe collaboration that came out recently. I believe it launched the 28th of June. Um, and I picked it up when I was in Florida at the Ulta there. I'm a huge Coca-Cola person. Like I'm drinking my Coke right now from McDonald's because it's better from McDonald's. And when I saw this collection, I was like, um, excuse me, I'm going to need that because I love makeup and I love Coca-Cola. So anyway, I'm rambling because I'm excited. But today I created this look here very red, very uh, sparkly. I definitely experimented a little bit. This is not my normal eyeshadow. Although if you know me, you know I switch it up a lot. But um, I had to play with those reds, oh my gosh. I mean, the palette itself does have a lot of neutrals, I'll give it that. It has a lot of options where you could get a completely neutral look, not touch the reds, not touch the blue, not touch the silvers or the gold. Um, but I mean, come on. I needed to do a red one for my first one. So maybe I'll revisit it and do some more um, like neutral looks or maybe just little splashes of red. But for the first one, I was like, I gotta go all out. Anyway, so um, I'm gonna get into me trying uh, the palette using the eyeshadow brushes from this collection and trying one of the lips as well. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in just a minute. All right guys, so it is time for me to dive in to the Coca-Cola and Morphe collaboration. Um, I'm going to be starting with the palette and I am so excited. You have no idea if there's ever been a collection that's perfect for me. Makeup, Coca-Cola, that's it. I'm even drinking my Coke from McDonald's right now. So anyway, I've been dying to try this since I got home from Florida. And I mean, guys, the colors, the colors these reds in the middle anyway so I think I'm gonna do kind of like a halo eye um, I really like the idea of doing red on my outer and inner corner and then kind of like a spotlight maybe this icy silvery blue in the middle I think that could look really cool so um, I just can't wait I'm so excited and I am going to be using my coca-cola and morphe brushes um, these feel really nice. I like the idea that they're kind of shaped like a Coke bottle, um, and they have like a good weight to them. So for a halo eye, I usually like to start with the outer and inner corner color, and I like to have a small brush for that. So this one, they don't have names, but it's just a very small kind of tapered blending brush. And I'm going to start with that first. I think I'm going to go in with the darkest red in the palette. I will probably put the names somewhere on the screen uh, because they have the names on like a plastic sheet that comes out of the palette, which is not my favorite thing in the world, but I'll allow it for this one. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get started. I don't have anything on my eyelids right now, um, which is kind of how I usually start my um, looks. Sometimes I'll use a primer um, or a concealer, but I really wanna see how the colors perform on their own. So I'm not going to use any kind of primer or concealer. So let's get started. I'm going to go in with the uh, darkest red in the palette, which is this one here. Hopefully I didn't just stick my finger in it. And let's see. Oh, it picks up a lot of color. So I'm going to start that on my outer corner. And then I will be bringing it on the inner corner too, leaving the middle of my lid free of any shadow. So this is definitely more of like a cool toned red, the darkest one, as opposed to like more of an orangey red. I do usually like to connect um, the two sides when I do a halo eye, um, just almost like a bridge in the middle. Um, I don't know. I just think it kind of rounds it out a little bit. doesn't make that middle color so stark. I think I'm going to switch over to 
more of a flat brush and we're gonna see whether this blue, um, the like light icy blue in the palette will show up with a brush or whether I'm going to have to use my finger. With pressed pigments like this, I really don't mind using my finger. I think I get better payoff, but we'll see what this guy's made of. Love the color already, but I'm definitely gonna need to use my finger. So I'm gonna dip my middle finger in there so you get much more color than if you pick it up on a brush. And then I'm just gonna kind of pat into the center of my eyelid. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty, I like that. And I'm gonna overlap it into the red a little bit. Yeah, that's really pretty. Now that I've got the base for that blue, I am gonna go back in and just intensify a little bit right in the center. I think that's such a cool, different look. Halo eyes often don't look right until the end. Um, I'm kind of considering taking this really dark gray and kind of smoking out that outer corner, but uh, I think it's gonna mix with the red and make kind of a purple, and I'm not going for that. So, I may just do a thick black liquid liner, but I do wanna soften the edge a little bit. So I'm gonna take, oh, kind of like a creamy, like light, it looks like iced coffee to me, even though I don't drink iced coffee. <laughs> That's the kind of color it looks like. Um, just on the edges, that might not be dark enough to blend. I may have to go to the darker shade. It's more of like a mocha color and just kind of, there we go, yeah. Just kind of soften that edge. I like that blend better. So now I'll go back to my smallest brush that we used for the red. Re-intensify that red. Maybe wing it out a little bit. Okay, don't mind me, I'm back. <laughs> There's literally a cop that just showed up at our house because apparently my sister accidentally called 911 and it's always something around here. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep building up that red on the inner corner. Sometimes I have a problem with my eyeshadow sticking on my inner corner, but anyway, it's just always something in this house. So now that that's good, I'm gonna go ahead and press the blue back onto my lid since we lost a little bit of it when I was blending. That color just catches the light so pretty. I almost want to like wet it a little bit and see whether that would make a difference. Um, I have actually Morphe setting spray here and I may spray that brush, the flat brush I was using just to get it a little bit wet and then dip into that blue shade again and see if we can get some more um, intensity with that color. We may have also been able to get more intensity if I had put like some concealer underneath, but again, I'm too excited. I just wanna play and see what's going on here. Ooh, ooh, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, get the other eye up to speed <laughs> with the, what's going on over here and clean up underneath, do some winged liner. And then I am going to, um, use some of the glosses. Okay. So I'm going to be a little daring. I might take the silver pressed pigment just because look how pretty is and try and put that on the center of my lid as well just a little bit so this may ruin the whole thing but let's go ahead and try it oh 
Oh my goodness. Oh, that's pretty. I like that mix with the blue. That's really pretty. That was a good decision. Just a little bit of it, just a little tapping on of that is just really pretty. Look at that. Look at that shimmer. Okay. Is it just me or does black liquid liner and mascara make such a difference no matter what the eye look is? So I'm really happy with um, how the shadows performed. I thought I created something really pretty, very red. I know that's not everybody's thing, but I think red eyeshadow can look super cool and like modern. So um, don't be afraid to try it. The last thing I have to try is actually um, the Coca-Cola and Morphe glosses. So I took them out of their little package, but um, I'm really not sure which color I wanna go for. I want to try the red, but I'm like, should I try the red? But then I'm like, it's Coca-Cola, so I think we got to try the red. So let's see how this looks. Um, from what I've seen online, it is a pretty opaque gloss. So I'm going to make sure I have all of the foundation and powder off my lips. The rest of my face I kept super simple. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go in with this guy. And this one is called Classic Babe. Isn't that perfect? So, uh, oh, pretty. Mm. That almost feels more like a liquid lip than a lip gloss. Mmm. That is so pretty. I'm glad I went with the red. Good decision. It was a good decision for them to come out with this collection right before the 4th of July. I believe it launched on the 28th of June because that really is a classic red gloss. That is so pretty okay so here's my final thoughts palette love the gloss that I tried great texture not sticky um definitely more of like your mm, almost feels like a creamy lipstick as opposed to a gloss um the palette I can't wait to just like completely dive into and do a ton of different looks but I am really happy with how the shadows performed I got a little uh weird out here just because I was trying to wipe off um I took my shadow too high up into my brow and then I tried to wipe it off. But um, for doing a quick look and it just being a first impressions, I'm very happy. Um, the brushes are great. Morphe brushes, I had no doubt that those were gonna be good. Um, I've had Morphe brushes from the Jaclyn Hill collection um, as well as one that they had during holiday time this past year and they always do well for me. They're some of my favorite brushes. So these are no different. Um, I love the big blending brushes. That's something I don't have from Morphe and I really enjoyed it. They also have um, in the collection a fan brush, um, which I want to get into using more. I just always kind of forget and use a big fluffy brush for like highlighter but I definitely want to try this boy out. So anyway, that's my review and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you like this look and that you will come back for more videos. I'm hoping to be filming quite a bit more throughout the rest of the summer into the fall. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you. Bye.